Last time on Lawful Stupid. We uh, arrived at the Ridscar Peaks and we met with Farron Stonebreaker and his wife, Baktu, uh, as well as their newborn child. And we drank with guards and we tried out chain mail and we got settled in and we are um, ready to move on to the next stage for our diplomatic mission. We are uh, set to this very evening meet once again with um, Farron and Bakhtur Stonebreaker uh, over dinner to discuss what the future holds. That was good. Yeah, surprisingly good recap, huh? That yeah. was really good. Very That's articulate, true. very much uh, on point, and factual. Which is uh, different than most. Yeah, different intro this time. It was, you know, good. Uh, good. I, I, well, I, I prefer the sillier ones, but it was good. It was accurate. Um, I mean, I could do silly real quick. I mean, I don't want to stifle your creative arts fan. Uh, uh, that's true. So you, you do what you need to, but no, I don't uh, know. see you guys. Uh, you guys are in the, the chambers that you have been housed in uh, for your stay at the Ridge Scar Towers. Um, Devin, uh, Alice has just uh, decided to train and or test out some of the uh, forge materials with the, the smithies uh, where Kristoff had went and to the tavern and got some got his drink on, um, and uh, kind of chit chatted with um, uh, one of the, the guards, guys who walked in. I can't remember his name in my life. Uh, I can't remember his title, um, but it was like Stonefoot is is the dude. It was um, Lieutenant Stonefoot. Yeah, it was Lieutenant. I just felt like that wasn't on point until you said Lieutenant. it. Lieutenant. 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 Um, yeah, uh, so um, you guys are all back in your rooms. You have a little bit of time uh, prior to uh, the dinner. Um, is there anything you guys would like to do or you guys just want to like fade on into your dinner? Are we in the same room? The, like, uh, quarters? Well, I mean, you ha- you're in the same like common area, right? So like you would have like a common sitting room between the different rooms, right? Because gotcha. somebody picked the room with the balcony. I think Alice wanted it or was it? Yes. Yeah. And so he had the balcony and there were a few other rooms, right? Like, okay. How much longer do we have here, Kristoff? We need to get the silence. Uh, it's, it's all part of... Um... It's all part of the scenario. It's all part of what we must do in diplomatic relations. We must, um, we must schmooze. We must wine and dine. We, these are part of the courtesies we must absor- observe if we want to be successful here and be able to uh, move forward without any sort of incident. Uh, but how long does that take? It depends. It could be settled in this one meal or it could take days. But it's important. It is imperative, in fact, that we do so um, peacefully because we have an army marching to another uh, sovereign nation. This could be seen as an act of war, and if we don't do our job, that's exactly what will happen. Well, Rowan is the best schmoozer I know. Don't you think he could probably speed his process along? And look over at Rowan. Yeah, all we could do is just be charming. Just be charming and nice, it's, and we'll be done with it in one dinner. It's a, it, that's, that's the plan, yes. It's a matter of all of us being charming and nice. Um, I'll be diplomatic, Rowan will be charming, Atlas will be Handsome. earnest and true and genuine. Um, and with our powers combined, we should be able to get through this. Our powers combined, we are one good person. We are one adult man. <laughs> well, bit of a leap. We are at least uh, three quarters of an adult man. More accurate. So yeah, the, I think the, the the short answer is tonight. We'll be done tonight. Well, hopefully the thing. I must... need it to be done sooner than later. If not, we're gonna have to sneak out of here. <laughs> that could be a little suspect if we go on a diplomatic mission. We have dinner with them and then we just fucking disappear in the dead of the night. Listen, I, I, I'm tired of waiting around. There's something going on here. I don't like it. I know he's your friend, but. I, we're wasting our time here. Cool heads must prevail. Atlas, I know that you... You're a hammer. 
and Hammer wants to see a nail and it wants to do its job. I understand and respect that. But sometimes matters are not that simple. We must bide our time. We must do things correctly, even if it takes more what you consider to be inaction is truly preparation. You have to do this right, or mm -hmm. lives will be lost. People will die, Atlas. Yeah, I guess. Good people will die. I'll trust you. Thank you. Well, where's the food then? I'm starving. <laughs> they will they will send the runner to fetch us when the meal is ready. For now, we bide our time. And tongues. Christoph, tell me what you know about my mother. She's in silence, and she's alive. But why is she in silence? My mother has never been more than uh, two towns away from Riverside. And my um, father is not also in silence. Did you, did you and Henry not speak of this while you were together? You did not clarify? I did, I did not. I was so uh, mixed up in what had happened with Captain Tindall and coming back that I didn't even think to, to, to bring it up. I mean, I, it, it, one moment and I, and I pull out the coin and, uh, uh Avia, are you there? Uh, yes, Christoph, what is this? Uh, is it possible for you to, um, send a message to Henry to see what he knows of, uh, Teresa's disappearance and arrival in silence? Uh, yeah, I, yes, not right at the moment. I'm still working on trying to figure out what more I can learn about why Teresa's there and, and why my message got cut off. My magic shouldn't be so easily stop the torrent is is doing strange things here there are dead spots all throughout the land I, i'm investigating that myself i was hoping henry might know more i'm i'm sorry dead spots yes areas in which there's no connection to the torrent no connection to any sort of uh, magical plane like at all like at all just they're small they're they're brief and intermittent but to feel it it's it's unbearable that's not good. I agree. I've never heard of that. No, nor have I. Um, I've I've been to the torrent, to the heart of the storm, and I've been without magic, and this is something different. And there's also there was a creature that I encountered, and it it seemed like it was a different version of torrential energy, some sort of almost. Not corruption, but just different. And I don't know if these are related, and I don't know what the answers are, but I know the answers await us in silence. The answers await us with its king. Okay. Uh, well, I, I will see what I can do about getting in touch with Henry and asking what he knows about Teresa. Um, as soon as I have something, I'll let you know. Thank you, Avia. And I put the coin into my pocket. Well, I don't. I don't have all. I I, I said my part of the conversation out loud. Okay. Uh, yeah. So um, she's she's trying to learn more. Uh, her magic is not reaching silence as it should. I think it has to do something with those dead spots that I encountered. Um, she's going to try to reach out to Henry to see if he knows any more. Christoph, if your brother has anything to do with this. I can't tell you that I'm going to be able to bide my fury against him. I... I Christoph laughs. I mean, um... Okay. Um... I understand. Thank you. And, um... Right as you guys are kind of wrapping up that conversation, there's like a knock at the door. At the, at the door, because I assume you guys are all like sharing one of the rooms, obviously having a conversation. You're not in the common room. I I would I would assume we are in the common room. Okay. Uh, then you hear the uh, the the footsteps of someone approaching, and it's uh it's a larger orc, and he's in some of this armor that you've seen 
um, just like a, almost dirt colored armor. And he um, says, uh, the king and queen are ready for you. Thank you very much. Mm. And he like motions down the stairs. Yes, uh, gentlemen, are we ready? Like the row one. Indubitably. Oblibity blah. Oblibity blah, indeed. Please lead the way, sir. He turns on his heel and uh, leads you guys down um, several flights of stairs. Um, and so you guys uh, head out this common room area, these uh, down the stairwell and out this like uh, doorway to these these lavish rooms, lavish for rich car, uh, rich car towers, that is. And you travel back towards uh, the great hall uh, that you once met the king as on your arrival and you pass through there and you go through another like he leads you through another great hall and it's it's more ornate than the throne room was and you see this huge table with chairs and chairs and the table is made of stone and so are the chairs and you uh, he walks you by this table and you guys walk all the way down this table to the end and on the opposite side of this room, there's another door. But as you're walking through here, you're seeing like paintings um, where before you saw the the stone uh, mosaics, you, you see paintings here and they're, um, they're different where the mosaics were like combat focused, like they, they have pride in the old leaders that were very much uh, t- t- totalitarian uh, in appearance. These paintings are more of um, the outside of the castle, the horizon that they see. Um, there's a, a painting of like all of their people gathered together in one of their great halls. Um, and so this this guard leads you out the door from this uh, banquet hall and um, you go down a hallway and a few more doors. You find yourself in like a smaller uh, dining room, a little more intimate. Um, now it's still a big table. The table itself would seat about 16 people. Um, but you see, um, you see the king at the end of one table and Batul, his wife, is sitting to his right. Um, and to her left, kind of between the two, is their daughter, or their, yeah, their daughter, Gloria. Um, Gloria? I thought it was Delilah. No, it was Gloria. Okay. Um, Good to know. And uh, to um, their left, you you see uh, Graylin sitting there. And to his left is uh, Lieutenant Stonefoot. And um, the king, he uh, he says, Welcome, boys, boys, sit, sit, have a seat. Plenty of space. I sit yeah, down at the table. Down. Yeah, so the spread um, across this table, and it's all the way across the table, despite the fact that he, but they know that there aren't going to be uh, all the, the seats filled. Um, you've got like boar meat. You've got what you, you know Atlas might recognize as like bear meat. Like it's like a lot of different hearty, hearty foods um, with not a whole lot of veggies. Um, there's like some uh, peas and like lots of potatoes and good amount of roots, um, but you're not seeing many of those leafy greens. Um, and then there's a, like a whole end of the table is just like desserts. And then there's oh, just- I'm gonna sit on that end. Okay, you <laughs> sit on the opposite end of the table, okay. Um, and then there's like tankards at every seat. And, and one thing, um, that Kristoff won't find um, weird is that every seat has two tankards for that one person. Um, and uh, in the center of um, the table is like a tap system for ale. This is the best. Okay, and so you guys... Uh, are they already eating? Uh, no, they haven't. They're, everybody's plates are set. But they haven't started eating. They were waiting on you to approach. Okay. Um, and so, um, uh, 
the king, he says, um, he says, help yourself. You fill, fill your plates once, twice, three times. Eat as much as you want. You're my guests. I will reach in for whatever piece of chocolate cake is in front of me and put it on a plate and just begin to eat that. Okay. Oh, thank you, uh, your honor, your king, uh, your highness. 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 You can just call me Farron. Uh, are we expecting uh, more guests? Because there's a, a lot of chairs in here that are uh, empty. <laughs> no, no, this is just for us. Really? Excellent. It's, it's an intimate dining experience. I'm wow. mage handing potatoes and bear flakes. I was like, I'm mage handing as well. Whatever, just cherry picking the best parts from the best parts of the table. Like, I'm not going to get up and yeah, exactly. ask you to pass that. Just mage hand. Oh, uh, and friend, uh, what happened to you back there in the woods? Graylin. And Graylin uh, kind of looks over and says, What do you mean? Well, and I look, I look to Rowan and look to Kristoff and then where we were on our way here and then you went to this, this like monument thing that you said was, mm-hmm. was, was uh, you know, the Fub Oak said was sacred and we, we went ahead when we came back, you were gone. Uh-huh. Well, you went forward without me. So when I was done studying, I continued on. What? I mean, that's that's possible. But we came back very shortly after. And no signs, no tracks, nothing. We looked. That's very strange indeed. But here well, I am, all the same. As long as you're okay. from the, the tanker. Looks like you made it here quite well. Yeah, just so that I can set my mind at ease, Dwayne. Can I get a little insight check? Um, yeah. Can I just to see if this guy's uh, honest about that? Yeah. Uh, that is 16. Uh, so you, you, with a 16, um, you don't get nefarious vibes, but you don't trust everything he's saying. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't feel like a flat out lie, or it doesn't feel like villainous in nature, but you feel like something's off about that. And you, and, And you got a real strong gut feeling. Got that the second we met him. We didn't need an insight check for that. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> just 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 to break apart what what Shane saw feels and what Kristoff feels. Now we're on the same page. Yeah, confirmed. Ah, well, it's just good to see that you're safe. Likewise. Anyways, Farron, you were you were telling us of these, you were telling me of these fiends, and. Uh, you can kind of see, like, Batul gets a little grim when the topic comes up. Um, and Farron says, ah, well, yes, they've they've been attacking our, our, our fortifications. And this has been going on for some time, for the last few years at least, but it's gotten worse. The attacks are getting stronger, and we can't seem to place where they're coming from. Probably some kind of door. There's a door, yes. And somewhere there's a key as well. Ah, I'm sorry. There's doors and I... What are you talking about? <laughs> My lord, um, we've faced these things before. Um, in Oxbane, I'm not sure if word has reached you here across the sea, but um, yes, we we a door was opened um, to another realm, a place of darkness and these beasts, and... We, we fought them off, um, and there was a door, and there was a key, and we closed it, and we locked it, and we destroyed what remained. And, and more than that, I spent two years fighting these things off in all different places, but the way that you describe them is very different from the way that we've, the ones that we've seen. What do you mean? Well, the ones we fought are, are on two legs, they have armor and swords, but We've heard you've got ones that are on four legs and much larger than that, and some that even fly. Well, yes, we ha- we have the the bipedal ones as well. They seem to be, if I were to name them of anything, they're infantry. Hmm. 
they seem to make up the bulk of the force. And and I we only surmised that when they threw legions of those at us, at, at our stalwarts, it just, they had to do something different. They adapt. Yes. That's that was the most concerning part for us when it, we felt like we had a solution. They found one as well. Is this where we get Jaegers? Yes. Yes, yes. they're in the back. <laughs> they're in the back. Uh, well, one thing that we can do to immediately assuage your your uh, situation will be to march an army directly to them. Um, like I said, we have one available. And we can put them to task instead of sitting on the on their hands as it were. As much as I love that, but we don't even know where they're where they come from. I have a feeling that we have someone who can locate the source. And you hear Graylin say <laughs> Ah, uh, well, Kristoff, I, I don't know that I can quite do that, but I appreciate your faith in me. Well, I'm sure with the aid of Findel the Mad, you two together will be able to accomplish this task. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry you said Findel? Findel the Mad, yes. Oh. You, do you know him? Uh, well, um, I've heard of him. He's very powerful, and, and he's... He's faced these things before, to great effect. I, I would not be surprised. And uh, Farron says... He's a personal friend. Uh, Farron says... Like... The Fendor from... Eos. The Fendor from the Econ. Yes. The same. Fin- Find, findle the blue, Findle the arcane, Findle the mad. You, there's, there's, I don't, I, it's not a common name. Findle, our friend. Yeah, the, the most cherished title that he holds <laughs> is our friend. You see Graylin kind of smile as you guys like do that? Like uh, giving you a nod? Now you're getting it. Hey, isn't that what, isn't that what the animatechs call you? They do! Well, that's what so, we call Findle. You're playing into his ego, great. I am. Uh, and uh, Farron says uh, that's uh, that, that can't be good if if um, Vendel's here it's more of a personal favor for us um, we think that these have something to do with the arcane and he's the most powerful person we know that deals with such such forces yes mm-hmm. it's it's a, a coalition force um, it's not just Findle, it's uh, Frost as well. Um, they are in communique. Um, he, mm-hmm. Together, they are the forefront of the, the bleeding edge of all things that involves the torrent. You must know this. And uh, you hear about tor- uh, Okay. Baron, the, uh, how do you, do you three know anything about this? Uh, my lady, we we lived it. It was a nightmare made real, and we lived and survived it. Okay. Baron, we have bigger problems. If they know about it, Kristoff's uh, one thing, but for three people to know about the stewards, to know what's going on here... I, We've got a bigger problem, Farron. Is it, and, is it um, a bigger problem? You see Farron say, he kind of like holds his hands up placatingly to his uh, to his wife and says, uh, calm down, calm down, but I'm, I'm sure there's more to this story. I'm, I'm sure we're missing something. Now, I'm sure there's something the boys haven't told us yet that would explain why they know so much. About. Well, so we are from Oxbane. I'm from Oxbane, as you may or may not know. And uh, the reason why we know so much is because while we were there, that's where the attack happened. At some point, 
we did run into a, fi a hooded figure that seemed to be in control of the particular door there. And we pushed, we managed to, we did not get rid of her. We pushed her back through this door. But she seemed like this was not the last we had seen of her. And perhaps uh, that is what's occurring here. It's, it's quite simple, friend, and this is going to sound... Well, this is going to sound like a bit much. But no one here is ordinary. Um, my friend Rowan, I introduced him as a bard, and that was a half truth. He is not only a bard; he is he's the will of Win in our mortal lands. He holds his loot, his totem. Um, my friend Atlas here has been touched and scarred by Etus. We've taken great pains to cure him of what ailed, and I myself, well, Andron is my grandfather. Well, great, 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 great grandfather, but we have been touched in some way and placed in events larger than ourselves. That's how we know what we know. And uh, you see Farron respond um, by like taking his two tankards and draining both of them. Um, I join him. I also join. I also join. <laughs> Assuming this is a custom. <laughs> and uh, he says, <sighs> this all over again. How, how do you mean over again? This is a part of what calls everything with the arcane wars. And it's starting again. Now I feel like you know something we don't know. Who touched you? Hmm, phrasing. We were... You said we were touched. I just want to know. Yes, I... Yeah, you're right. Is Senlor, perhaps? Yes. Could be Senlor. Or Derridan? And, uh... Aaron takes another long, hearty drink and says... Uh, no. Frankly, I'm thankful they've strayed away from us. You got that right. And for what it's worth, we want to kill the gods, if that's any kind of different chink in the plan. I don't know how, how honest we're being with that, Rowan, but... <laughs> no, we're in, a, we're in a good place. We need to be honest yeah. with each other. Yep, you're right. You're right. So as yeah. you say that, he, he drains another tanker. I may hand one of Greylands over to me and drink it. <laughs> uh... And you see, like, Graylin, so when you do that, Graylin's, like, trying to, like, no! But can't, like, stop it. Um, mm, too late. I mage hand refill one of the king's cups for him. Oh, He's very thankful. Um, so, uh... Great. Farron will remember this. It's like the telltale. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Farron will remember... Or, yeah, Graylin will remember this. Um, yeah, so Farron says, um... <sighs> that's very ambitious. How can I help? Well, first of, first, beyond anything, we just need safe passage. I have, they said, an army, this coalition force from Orenthal that needs to get onto the other side of these mountains in order to do anything of benefit for anyone. They cannot sit on the coast any longer. If you allow a safe passage, I can put them to work in ending what blights all of us. And you hear Bethel say, uh, kind of like in a hushed voice, but you guys can hear it. Farron, are you sure? Are you sure about this? This is dangerous. We've stayed out of the way of this for a reason. And um, Farron like puts his hand on um, 
hers, like on her forearm, because I think she puts her hand on his, like trying to like counsel him. And uh, Farron says, "It was our mistake last time to uh, to not do enough." And he looks down at his uh, daughter in her bassinet and says, uh, I won't make that mistake again. I won't allow the same things to go unchecked. Not if I expect our daughter to have a future. One not dictated by people drunk on power. And uh, Batul, like, um, picks up their daughter and, like, leaves the room. Um, but as she leaves the room, I just stand up, push my chair from behind me, and bow. Yeah. Graylin does the same thing. Uh, I see Kristoff do that, and I want to do the same thing. Uh, I will get up and just tip the hat. And, um... Farron says, uh, uh, I, I apologize. Um, she doesn't want us getting involved with the conflict any more than we must. I, I don't blame her at all. Conflict is never, especially when you've got a family. It's, it's very big and wise of you to make this decision. It's not always the easy thing to do, but the right thing to do hardly is. Johannes. I see that you very much have someone you love and care about. I do have someone I care and love very much in silence. I would be forever in your debt if you would allow a safe passage to not only get to silence, but allow us to take care of this problem for you. Yes, you you can travel through our valleys. You will go unimpeded by our forces. Now, this thank you, thank you first and foremost, friend. You spoke of doing too little last time. I I must admit I don't I don't know exactly what you mean, but I know regret. If. You want to do more, only if it is your desire. We would be proud to have those of your your men who are willing to march alongside us. And you see him, um, like stroke his beard. His like he's got like a, a big white beard, and he um, seemed like uh, kind of like run his. Uh, is like big dwarfy paw through it. Um, and he says, On an entirely volunteer basis, of course. I want to help. But I can't answer you that right now. I, I can't. I can't ask. I can't. I can't command my people into a conflict that uh, I'm not sure should be us. Um, I I understand completely. I don't ask for you to command anyone. Only those who who will it. Only those who wish to defend their home perhaps more actively than manning a wall. Just give give them free leave to do so if that is their wish. Of course, I, I, you, and I know that you must retain a force. Yeah, I understand that completely. You cannot overextend yourself. You have the most easily defended home of all the kingdoms in the land and you cannot let that advantage go for the sake of this conflict but those that will we, we would welcome them as comrades and brothers and sisters I will I will put the word out I will have my generals talk and ask die I don't know what will come of it, and for that I am sorry. Of course, no, there's there's no need to be sorry.
And uh, I think you guys like, unless you guys want to say more in this video, this discussion. I, th I think I just want to like lighten things up and maybe play like a drinking game that we played when we were younger. Um, to try to like get past the, the darkness that just kind of loomed over the table and, and return it to like a joyous, joyous meal. Yeah, I think uh, I think you you suggest the Silencian one, and um, he kind of like laughs and, and says, oh, "No, Kristoff, if you're going to be in Red Scar, we're going to play a Red Scar drinking game." Oh, absolutely <laughs> delight. Good. You first, then Rowan. What is yes? it? Yes. No, it's oh, all right. And he like gets up and he walks over to you. Are you ready? I'm so ready. Stand up. Stand up. Oh, I stand up so fast. And he like from under the table pulls out like this stool sized thing of ale and he slides it towards you and he pulls another one out and slides it towards him. And he says, the first one to the bot gets to hit the other one as hard as they can. I think you've got an advantage, but I've never won. And he back starts down. drinking. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I may chain slap him on the ass and then start drinking mine. You hear him, oh, oh, and he continues to drink. Uh, roll a uh, flat d20. Oh my god. Uh, we'll do constitution modifiers. You can yeah, constitution that. typically yeah. is the. Well, I mean, it's more of a race to honestly drink as fast as possible. Is what I'm gauging currently, not the effects yeah. of said alcohol. Okay, and we're what adding constitution? Yeah, add constitution. I just give you a modifier. Oh yeah, like... that's good. Uh, it's a fifteen. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. So um, you're like drinking, just like fuck, man, and it's like pouring over you a little bit because like there's no fucking way yeah. to like not. And like you put yours down, you're like, yes, and he's just sitting there grinning, just like ready. Oh, you got All me. All right. And he just like steps forward and like hits you square in the chest, Ugh. and it fucking hurts. Like you know, it's right. gonna be bruising. Oh, you're strong, King. You're strong, King. It's it's our turn, Atlas. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I know you've been wanting I'm, this for a long time. I'm ready. Okay, you guys. Uh, you pull. Uh, you look under the table, and there's two more. Big barrels of, uh, or uh, like, like I said, uh, stool sized. This is my kind of king. He was fucking ready to party this dinner. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> ready to party hard. He knows what's up. I'm well, gonna I mean, go one. Like, this is fucking drinkers. Two, and right before I say three, my eyes flash serpentine and blue, and I wink at Atlas, and then I start drinking. Uh, I, I'm chugging along. Constitution check. Are we just doing constitutions? I mean, it's constitution d20. No, check. Let me, let me pull mine up and yeah. see what it is. Here you go. Yeah, not a saving throw. Just a check. Not a saving throw? Not a saving throw. Just like a constitution. Uh, uh, I got a crit. 20. Got me this. Oh, shit. Nah, I don't think I have any trickery dickery for this either. Nope, sure don't. And you, uh, as you guys are, like, the whole time you guys are doing it, uh, uh, Farron is like, Got his arm around Rowan and was like as much as he can. This is great. Look at him go. Oh, uh, I know. Oh, I'd almost nice. wager on this if I was a petting man. I'm not a petting man. But there's things I won't do that would kill me for that. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not a petting man either. Excellent. Uh, okay, so you win. Go on. Finish the game. Finish the round. I'm gonna walk straight up to Kristoff, bring my arm back like I'm gonna hit him, and instead of punching him in the face, I'm gonna put it around his neck and give him a hug. And you hear Baron, boo! Then boo! Boo! Oh, I punch him in the face. Oh, I was gonna say, and then I punch him in the stomach as he, <laughs> okay. as he thinks it's over. <laughs> okay. Cheers. As a reaction, I cast shield. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really? Uh, yeah, under under. Uh... Uh, I, I don't have a shirt on. I guess I can't really hide it. No, I just take it. Okay. Uh, uh, describe it to me with great valor, Atlas. All right, so I'm just like, you think it's over, so you kind of let your guard like, oh, oh, thank goodness. And then comes the punch. And I go, yeah, I think, it, I think it lifts me right off my feet, right? 
Oh, because I'm going to use the I'm going to use the 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 other arm that's kind of around your neck to help lift you up a little bit to exaggerate <laughs> the punch. <laughs> Don't forget who's stronger here, like in a jest, not in a all threatening right. way at all. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Oh, yeah, okay. you're you're the strongest boy. I love you. I mean it. Oh, he's a lovey drunk. I, I love you as well. They're both, he's, and, and for sure. Uh, Atlas is absolutely just gone because he does not ever drink. <laughs> he usually drinks non-alcoholic rainbow bowls. He loves it. That's firm. Um, yeah, so I think you guys spend um, the rest of the meal like uh, doing like Solency and Chance and... Oh, I'm not going to leave Graylin out of this. I want to punch that motherfucker more than anything. <laughs> okay, so you, you challenge Graylin? Yeah, round two, Graylin. Let's go. Okay, cool. Hmm... 15. Do a perception check for me as well. I would love to. That natural 20 on my perception check. Okay. 15 on my drinking check. Okay. Um, so he beats you, um, but when you're like coming back down, something doesn't feel right. Like you like you're like splashed with like ale, right? Like from like dip. he is not. Um, he does not have the same like covered in out ale situation. And he says, rules is rules, Kristoff. Of course. And he, uh, he steps forward and he just square, squares up and punches you in the chest. Ow. Yeah. Um, it hurts really, it hurts really bad. I mean, it does like he, um, he's a, he's a thicker, brawnier dude. Um, oh, can I can I retcon? No, I can't. Um, so he he hits you in the chest um, and kind of and kind of laughs about it um, just in general. Best two out of three. And uh, Graylin kind of laughs and says, oh, "Listen, I I don't want to hog all the fun, Kristoff Stonefoot, Farron. Maybe you should play our rowdy friend." Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Stonefoot, Lieutenant Stonefoot steps up and says, uh, I, tell you, I tell you what, I'll take on everybody at the same time. Oh, you got a deal. Baron says, Like a. Like a battle royale. Yeah. I'm into it. And like, so you guys just like filling up more of these because now you drink a bunch of them that were already prepared. Um, and now everybody's gonna do a race. Um, yeah, just be- just before we go, I cast haste on myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to make your throat larger. No, he yeah, acts I'm faster. faster. Yeah, I know, but your throat faster. is bigger. To... I mean, he would like, like, consume faster. Yeah, my swallow what? muscles. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> go, 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 go. That's got to be a little clip right there for <laughs> best. Moments. You're welcome. You're welcome, world. Yeah, the swallow muscles. They go faster. So I have an unnatural 20. It's more ginger. Oh, sorry. Do I get anything for that? For haste? Yeah. Do I get like uh, an advantage on the yeah, roll? Yeah, I have an advantage. I got 15. I had a natural 20 and a 4. Okay. Uh, so yeah, Kristoff wins. He's the first one. Done. Um. Uh. 15. What did you get, Rowan? An unnatural 20. Okay, so Rowan comes in second, Baron third, Graylin fourth, uh, Stonefoot is dead last because he got a crit one. Atlas wasn't doing it either? Atlas, he comes in uh, just behind Baron. And um, uh, so you finish first. And Baron goes- Line up, line up, everyone line up. Wait a minute, sir. She did everyone, hold on. And so yeah, yeah, they kind of like, uh, like walk up, line up. Um, do me a favor, I, I, or Shane. I punch them all you, with my negative, my negative one strength. Yeah, before you do that hit, um, I'm gonna need you to roll a Constitution saving throw um, for drinking three of these bad boys. Yeah, it's fine. Twenty-four. You're good. Yeah, I'm proficient in them, and I have a good. <laughs> I am proficient in drinking. <laughs> no, I just I'm proficient in Constitution saving throws because, like, for 
Yeah, it's, it's really because of spell saves, but makes sense. Concentration saving throws, but yeah, wait, you can you're proficient in concentration or constitution? I'm proficient in constitution. Sorcerers are proficient in oh. constitution saving hmm. throws. The reason being is because they're supposed to make their spell save for con- concentration checks, but it also applies to <laughs> like <a> drinking. <laughs> yeah. All right. So they. All I, get, I, I get advantage on concentration saving okay. throws. I didn't take as advantage. I was, as I took well, I was like, throw. hold on. Are you like mixing those up? No, you good. No, I'm proficient because I'm a sorcerer. I have advantage because I have the warcaster feat. Gotcha. So yeah, they line up, and you guys kind of. Um, I was gonna say af- after his first punch on anybody, I'm laughing hysterically. <laughs> oh, what a what a weak boy! Uh, Atlas goes last. Okay. <laughs> I get uh, he turns into a fu- mothering dragon. Into a fucking dragon, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I hit him with my fucking tail. <laughs> Yeah, so you guys, uh, you, you do that. You, you Everybody lines up, and you... And I go, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to hit you? Am I, I going to? I, I fall directly on the ground when he hits me to make him feel good. No, so Farron is the same way. He's a good host. When he gets hit, he kind of buckles forward. <laughs> oh, you've got a strong friend. And then, and then it's Atlas's turn. <laughs> I turn into a fucking dragon. Inside of this building? Yeah, That's inside of this yeah. building. Destroy it completely, yeah. I destroy it completely. Uh, no, I go, uh, Atlas, I'll get yours later. I do not like, and I'm just laughing still. <laughs> okay, whatever you say, tiny man. <laughs> oh, God, the slap bat. This is the slap, oh. slap bat of Lawful Stupid. Uh, worry, I'll, I'll get you yours later. The next time we're outside, it's like, hey, Atlas, can I, can I see you here for a second? Dragon, tail, whap. <laughs> ah, Silence, we're blasting off again. I just want <laughs> everyone to know that I have a real life slap bed on Scott that I've had for like almost ten years now. It's true. I I had one on him as well, and I reclaimed it while I was giving a a, a tour to new hires in the company that we worked for. <laughs> I was touring them around. And I ran it out on the floor. I was like, "Yeah, sometimes you just gotta establish dominance. Like, get back to work." And I slashed it. And Alex, like like a true friend, did go down for me and make me look cool in front of all my fucking new hearts. I was like, yeah, sometimes you just gotta teach them who, who boss is. And they're like, uh, okay. True story. And I held on to mine for 10 years, waiting for the perfect moment. Yeah, he still got it. Still got it. Every time every time I see him, I'm super excited to see him. I'm super terrified that this is gonna be the time. Oh, this maybe. Be the day. Draw. Yeah, I'll say Drawlacon. <laughs> In the, in the middle of a panel. Yeah. 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 So, anyway, the big Our thing live show just gets hey, up, Alex, walks you, over. Here, Alex? Hey, Alex, we were... Alex, I don't think you need to go from the table, man. Just... No, we can, we can role play. We can role play. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, yeah, that's what we're going to end this episode. You guys, like, uh, having a good time, um, enjoying the the, uh, the banquet and, and so on and so forth. I think this is the last episode. In April, right? April. I don't know. I don't look at the calendar. I think, I think so. I've seen a calendar. I should I get know, a calendar. We have one more. I, I remember last time I said we had two more episodes before Min Max. That's true. So this is one, and we have one more. Dun 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 dun. dun. So this is uh, a role for Hermione for April is going to be the Harry Potter Alliance. They have amazing initiatives that you can read all about online and the link is going to be in the description. Um, please take a look at them, see all the, they have a multitude of different events that they do at all times. Um, really way more than I can talk about here, but they are all worthy and all very cool. Harry Potter Alliance. 17, $17 goes to the Harry Potter Alliance. That's very good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I've been rolling good on my charity rolls lately. Yeah. And, uh, uh, I'm disappointed uh, that you didn't. I wish I could say I'm upset about it. Every single time that you roll for like the Harry Potter lines, you didn't say 17 points. 17 to- points to Gryffindor! It's too late. Yeah, Opp- now you got it. Opportunity missed. Till now. Thank you. Yeah, now, Thank now, you. now yeah, we've, we've recovered. 17 points to Gryffindor and dollars to the Harry Potter Alliance. Thank you all, Hufflepuffs and Ravenclaws alike. Ooh, what world Not of witchcraft and wizardry. Yes. Thank you. That's oh, that's yeah, the exposition so, um, I I needed. And, and to anticipate your your um your galleons to be delivered by Owl on the fortnight. Who? Who's who's delivering them? 
uh, owl. Uh, an owl. Owl. No, no, uh, owl. I mean, that's the FedEx driver. Your, your galleons and your knuggets and whatever the fuck the rest of the currency is called. Um, cool. So, I remember is one of them. Anyways, uh, you'll have. Um, hey, hey, you need more dice. Uh, everybody needs more dice. Yes. Um, if you do, you can go over to that critical dice. Um, get yourself that endless supply of dice. You can never have too many dice. You need you need endless dice bags bag of dice. dice. Bags. For seven dollars and fifty cents a month, a, a new set of dice is delivered to your door every single month, without fail. New dice, hoard them like a dragon. I get tell you what, Dwayne. I said I wasn't gonna do this, but I'm gonna do it. Go ahead and use uh. the coupon code Lawful Stupid. I know, I know, I know. Go ahead and use the coupon code Lawful Stupid. You get that first month. All free. Uh, Shane, I don't deal in dollars. How many pennies is that a month? That is 7,500 pennies per month. I'm well, sorry, it's it's what? 7,500 pennies? No, nope, oh, that's okay. too much for a bag of dice. This I'm value, out. the Maybe value is insane! But just think about how baller it is it's to throw work. away <gasps> dice after a month. You're like, you know what? These are dead to me now. Yeah, I only roll these for one. Or yeah. well, you can put them in dice jail where they belong every time dice. you roll bad. Ooh, you could melt them uh, down and make a new figure every month from the dice that have betrayed yeah, a new, you. A new or miniature not. out of the dice that fucking deserve it. You know why? Because you've got an endless uh, supply. And maybe, hey, if you're not following, uh, there's a book club uh, that we do at Lawful Stupid. We're in our third month of that book club. We're going all year long, new book every month. Um, if for whatever reason you just uh, don't have an Audible account to get up on those books, you can go to audibletrial.com slash lawfulstupid and get your first audiobook for free and get started on this book club journey with me and Atlas and sometimes Dwayne, but never Rowan. Uh, sorry, I, I read different books. I apologize. Too busy, he's, he's, he's too busy reading non-fiction metaphysics to Infinity fucking associate circles. with us. Please. Sorry that I was reading some astrophysics read. and I'm actually reading into psychology now. I, I enjoy that. Hey, you don't think so, Warlock is that more psychology? Is that more fucking Fun. nerdy? We're reading yeah. Warlock Holmes. I'm now a better detective. Uh, we sure. read Warlock Holmes. Well, I know we... Lot. Listen, to be fair, by it's the time this is in April... Like, yeah, confirm, right? Like, anyways. Yeah, so uh, I was boys. rereading about Rene Descartes. It's not as interesting. Yeah, oh, God, Rene Descartes. So if you want to think... get into Atlas's <laughs> um, uh, What I Learned Today podcast, um, you can find that at the uh, $10,000 a month. Uh, stress yeah, tier of Patreon. Yeah, yeah if you donate $10,000 a month every month for five months, you become available to just... Know everything that Alex Goring knows. I mean, literally, oh, he's shit. just gonna put I, you on a phone call and just let you listen to his life. I can't forget this, guys. I can't. Well, I can't. We only have two phone. slots available, and one's already taken. So hurry up and get in that other slot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you want to, I don't care. I, I think I keep everyone in the Discord updated on just like the random shit. Like, I ordered quail eggs, and I'm gonna be hatching quails for no reason other than I got drunk and ordered them. Uh, hey, hey, just so everybody knows, um... <clears throat> Hi, I'm Christoph Shindo, here to tell Avery Edwards to eat all your vegetables, clean your room, and do something nice for your mother. She deserves it. That's awesome. I'm required by law to say... No, uh, that's a shout-out that somebody made for their a beautiful uh, baby girl who listened to our podcast, which is terrifying. <laughs> um, but if... If you have a shout out that you would like to hear Red Unlawful Stupid, reach out to Jaboy at theboys at lawfulstupid.org. That's, that's Don't confusing. Put the Jaboy, yeah. <laughs> the I joy. am Jaboy. Reach out to me well, by emailing well, the boys. Alex we all, Jaboy. Uh, we, are all, we are all Jaboy in your heart. Yeah. Reach out to me on the Gmail or whatever email service that you use. Reach out to Lawful Stupid or the boys at lawfulstupid.org. Send me an email, or hit me up on Discord, or hit me up uh, other places. Aim. Yeah, pretty much anywhere. <laughs> on, 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 instant message. Your dish, away <laughs> message, because you never logs in. But we got to record another episode, so everybody say bye! Bye! Good boy!
Yeah, you are great. <laughs> it makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs>